going to attempt to charge an overly discharged LiPo. As you can see, it's failing to charge due to excessive cell-to-cell -cell mismatch. In fact, right now, it's showing that the third cell is uh, either 3.01 or less than 3, 3.03. So cell 1 and cell 2 are fine, but cell 3 is excessive. We discharge. So what we need then is another battery, preferably one that's partially discharged, and uh, just items that you might have in your kit. So uh, be careful because some of the connectors are going to be unconnected. So we run charging cables to the uh, over discharge battery and the known to be good battery. Try to keep the contacts apart from each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to join the uh, ground to ground. It'd be so cool if I had the appropriate something or other for this. Okay, ground to grounds are matched. So now what we'll do is, as you can see, we're gonna attach the, uh, the plus to plus together. There's the plus from the uh, overly discharged battery. There's the plus from the sample battery. And there's a several volts uh, difference between the two. Tell you what, while we're sampling the battery, we'll also read the voltage. And if I could just bring up the bottom one to uh, 3 tenths, 3.1, we'll call that done. Okay, I'm going to use this light bulb as a current limiter. As you can see, it lights up. Tell you what, let me just turn off the beeper. Okay, so what's happening is we're running current from the uh, good battery to the overly discharged battery through a current limiter, and that'll draw up the, uh, the lowest cell because I'm charging all three cells at once. That'll bring up the lowest cell to like 3.1. Okay, it's already up to 308. Okay, it's already up to 310. Let's get it up to 312. Okay, look, there's 312. Okay, so now I take the uh, battery that I want to charge. And the charger now finds the defective overly discharged battery acceptable to accept a charge. I hope you enjoy.